Hey guys, this is the Sasuke and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. As you can see, we have a level 5 mission unlocked in the cove. So uh, we're 50% to the boss, if I have to assume doing this should unlock the boss, so we're definitely going to try it. I feel like I am jumping in a little, a little deep, you know. We don't really have too much information on the cove. And um, it's a little nervous to be jumping in, but I brought some of the best of the best. Um, every single person here has proven themselves over countless uh, battles. They're all level 6 and they're all ready to go. We have a damage combo with... Um, actually, I don't know if I want the damage combo. I might just go with the accuracy, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the accuracy. Because that damage isn't factored in to uh, her alignment. So she's already at whatever this was previously, 9 to 20. But... um yeah, I think the extra crit and the extra accuracy are going to be a little bit better. Uh, we have standard crit stuff. We have damage and scouting on our front line. And then Bobap is, uh, he has the Highwayman, which doesn't account for his damage. So he actually has 20% above this. And he has plus 5 accuracy to all of his uh, range skills. Now, the way it's going to work is we've swapped his uh, skills around to point blank shot. So we can get the big damage off in the first round with his fatty 10 speed. And uh, this team composition also has mucho buffs. So I'm pretty confident, but at the same point in time, I am a little nervous just because we've never done a. Um, we haven't even done a level 3 dungeon in the cove yet. So, uh, you know, we're stepping out of our comfort zone a little bit here. And I don't really know what to expect, so I am going to waste some money and uh, over prepare a little bit more than I probably should. But, um, yeah. I'm mostly doing it because I still we're still experimenting, we're still testing stuff out, and uh, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, in regards to yesterday's video, I just want to say thank you so much for the outcry of support. Uh, both of the videos I released did very well, and um, I asked you guys to comment on the second one, saying that if you wanted your name as one of the characters, to uh, leave a comment down there in the comment section below, saying whoever you wanted it to be and the name you want it to be, and I got one response, and he is now the goon, These our cultist, a.k.a. our tank. Nightmares. They must be flushed out. They must be flushed out. But yeah, so we had one response on that, and I was really happy. Um, other than that, I was just really happy that uh, everybody was so interested in the cove, man. Well, I'm interested in the cove, if anything. It's freaking sweet. It's already reinvigorated me to want to play more. Damn, that dodge. Oh, they do have a lot of dodge, though. That makes sense. Let's see if we can lower that dodge. Never mind. <laughs> we'll just miss the one person that we wanted to hit with it. As the fiend falls, well, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. Well, at least that dealt no damage. Stun sucks, but that should deal no damage, right? Oh, one. Ow. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, these guys are so dodgy. Holy crap. A decisive pummeling. A decisive pummeling. Southy gal. Uh, it's a bleed, obviously. This is a gouge. Gouge out his eyes. Ugh. The noise that thing makes kind of reminds me of like a whip. Whoosh. But not. Uh... Ah, I'll just stop talking. These guys will never ever get hit. Holy crap! They're so dodgy. I'm gonna have to remove both of their speed or their dodges. It's actually crazy. I didn't expect him to be this dodgy. Let's AoE see. Any damage we can get down on him at this point is going to be good. Ow. Forgive me. I've been uh, partaking in some caffeinated beverages in my uh, free time. Uh, let's go ahead and finish him. There we go. Not bad. We'll go ahead and drop those deeds. We are in no need of that. Now... Blanketed and barnacles. A key wouldn't get rid of barnacles. Uh, did we try burning it off last time? I felt like we tried this last time. Okay, yeah. They aren't poisonous. Maybe they're sharp barnacles? No. Well, the medicinal herbs would make no sense. There's nothing inside. You know what? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, till we find out more information on that, I'll just assume that those are no item. You can't use an item on that or something? That sucks. Cruel machinations spring to life. 
Minus. With a singular purpose. Damn, that's a lot of dodge and speed. I think it's gonna wear off before we get in this room, though, so I don't actually think it's a problem. Let's go ahead and pop this torch and walk in. Alright, well, nothing here. Uh, it is 100% of room battles, so let's keep that in mind. Talk about emptiness, though. Alright, who has the best? 70, 95. Let's try the 70. Okay, nice. Get rid of some of that stress. What do we got? What's in the box? Uh, heirlooms. That that was it. It's anticlimactic, I know. Man, this is this dungeon is so quiet. All right, I I wanted you know I wanted to be a little scary because when I was doing it with the level zeros and level ones, it was like pretty damn hard. Oh, here's something. A sa a UEA savage, a UA savage. Uh, armored maggot and a tide master. Okay, let's just kill you. Get that out of the way. All right, one down. Give them no quarter. Uh, I actually have no idea what this guy does, but he's a, he has a lot of protection, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark him. And then he has a high stun resist too, so I doubt that's gonna work. Let's just see if we can debuff him, maybe. No, they aren't resisted. Tidal slam. 18 with a stun, I'm assuming. And a knockback. Damn. A little scary. 3 with a debuff. Dodge and speed minus. We don't want to... Yeah, that sucks. I don't want to have him back any, because these people need to be in the positions there. And actually, I completely lied, because he does not need to be in that position at all. She loses 20% damage from not being in the 4th, which does suck. So is he just a stun bot? What else is it? No, it says he only has one ability. And a lot of protection. Holy crap. So I guess we're going to spend a couple turns walking this guy all the way back to the front. And that's starting to hurt. Ow. So let's go ahead and do that. Damn. That 30. Yeah, he still only has the title slam, strangely enough. Remove any dodge from this guy and let's see if we can just murder him. I'm going to... Oh, no, there's something new. A pinch. A bleed. Holy shit! Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I feel a little uh, less confident about the situation now that I've seen that happen. Holy fuck, a 10 bleed? So he doesn't deal damage, he deals stuns and debuffs. Now, I'm saying. Uh, we can't let that keep going. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. So we're definitely going to need somebody who can crack the through this guy's quakes. shell. Naturally. <laughs> you can title slam all you want, buddy. If you want to slam your way to oblivion, as long as you're not doing that fucking pinch. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Um... It's just DPS, I guess. Nice dodge. So he's back in the front. Now we know. I guess you don't know their attacks till you see them, or something like that. This is real. This is a really annoying enemy. Holy crap! They have a lot of tankiness. And a lot of damage, too. Holy crap. This one fight has been enough to open my eyes and say this dungeon is dangerous again. For a while there, I was kind of like, eh, you know, it's not too bad. It's kind of kind of changed my tune a little bit here. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Go ahead and hit us with one of these. A little bit of a dodge buff. Uh, crit his corpse. I want at least like one decent hill to come out, or we might just have to camp after this to be honest, because this is a bit ridiculous. Six is not what I was looking for, but I assume it's better than nothing, I guess. Their formation is broken. Maintain Bullseye! Defensive. Oh man, I, I'm getting a little nervous. Holy crap, I did not expect that one fight to be that rough. I think we should probably just go ahead and camp. How much more do we have left to go? We have five rooms we've been through. Practically four. If this is empty, we'll walk up here. If it's full, we may just camp. Okay, it's empty. Yeah, we'll walk up there. And it looks like we have to go both ways, sadly. 
So 70% worked again. Bring you here, bring you here. Let's continue onwards. Now what is this thing? A puzzling ancient sculpture of a diz dizzying implication. What, what does it look like? It looks like like a vault door or something. A key wouldn't work. I mean, unless it is a vault door, but I don't think it actually is. I'm assuming it would have something to do with holy water? I don't I don't know, man. Let's just do it. No, nope, we got a bad message. Kleptomania. Prone to stealing items. Nice. Not what we needed at all. So let's go ahead and camp up. <laughs> Getting a little nervous. A little a little nervous. I don't want to deal with another one of those things. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the coming horrors. Okay, so definitely this. Who do we want a super buff? Let's go ahead and get the two major buffs out that we know we're gonna have. These are the same, aren't they? Yeah. So we can major buff her or we can major buff him. He has AoE, her AoE is a lot weaker. Her single target is a lot stronger than his though. What are we gonna have problems with more? I'm assuming it's gonna be with single targets. Or maybe we should just buff both of them with a pretty high buff. No, let's try let's try crazy buffing his AoE. It's hard it's hard to go wrong with the AoE, right? It's pretty pretty good. Let's go ahead and eat up some of this food. We only have to worry about hunger activations at this point, so. Let's hope for no night fight. The match is struck. A blazing star and is born. Since we have him with so much damage, I'm gonna confide him to the AoE position. Alright, here's one of those things where we can cleanse it and get the random stuff out of his belly. I like those. Those are interesting because they always have a random assortment of items. Now right, we've already fought this fight before. And it wasn't the worst, it was a little annoying though. So everybody needs their dodge removed because man, they just they're so tricksy. Good damage. Alright, and these guys are stun bots, and then they have a when they aren't stunning, they have a little bit of damage they throw out in in a bleed. And then this guy in the back, he's just a jerk. He does everything that nobody wants to have happen to him. So, scream at him. Only hit the one. I wanted to get the debuffs on them, but they're so damn dodgy. Continually Let's go ahead and get him out of the way. Destroy them Destroy. them all. Ow. The red plague? That's not what I wanted to have happen. And another stun. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so the, here comes the bleeds. How much are they there? Wow, quite a bit. They're up to 12 damage. Go ahead and get a heal in. That'll negate the next two pro the next two procs pretty much. Masterfully Nicely done. Executed. A bloody good shot. Greed. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Man, the new narrator lines are sick. All right, here's our first real fight. That is, well, never mind. Kind of. I don't know. They have a lot of protection. Oh, they don't even have much protection. That just dealt no damage. Did that get nerfed or something? Maybe it did. I don't, I don't have the answers, to be honest. No, because that dealt even less damage, so... Maybe they just nerfed all AoE abilities. Precision and power. Well, at least we got debuffs on everybody, I guess. Ugh. I'm starting to think the stun comp is the way to go here in this place. Okay, so he guarded him. So let's kill these two in the back, I'm thinking. Sadly got the lowest rolls, that's still fine. This AoE, so it'll hit him because it hits both of them. Alright, he healed. No, he didn't. What'd he do? Oh, Jesus. Oh, we can kill him though if we AoE. There we go. So we got... The buff is not a problem. Let's try for the stun here. This fight's going pretty well. It got a little scary when we our AoEs dealt like zero frickin' damage. But I feel like they just did that on purpose to nerf it, to be honest. And I can't say that I'm against it. Because it was a bit uh, OP just to hound Harry every single fight to victory. 
We can... Yeah, it's a low chance to stun again. I, you, I thought it used to be 145, now it's 139. Yeah, we gotta mark this guy, because he is taking zero damage. I kind of wish they'd give a um, negative protection buff to somebody else other than just the Houndmaster. Especially when they have so many targets here that have the stand protection. Ooh, nice. Damn, that's through 75% protection. Okay, fair enough. That, uh... That shook my confidence a little bit. <laughs> okay, that time he finally resisted everything a little bit. Um, we'll let this bleed roll for a little bit and see if we can get a good heal out. Four is not what we were looking for, and we bled him. Shit. Okay, how much is it? We need to kill this guy. Alright, let's cure this bleed. <laughs> At least he didn't have to suffer a turn of nine damage. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Man, this dungeon is not easy. Please get a double scout. Oh, we gotta go there. Please don't. Oh, we have to go both places. Oh, it's so bad. How bad is the red plague? I don't even remember what it does. I need to look. Oh, he stole the treasure. Wow. Gets rid of five crit. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's just keep going. I'm not nervous. <laughs> okay, so I definitely want to kill the Drowned Sacrifice and the AoE Stingers in the back. But we need lots of heals too, so... Man, why are we bleeding so much? Wait, Red Plague, isn't it? Yep. Okay, that explains it. Fair enough. I don't like it, but... Well struck. Oh, debuff. Yes! That's good. Get rid of some of that dodge. Um... Pretty good chance for some decent damage. Alright, now they're gonna start getting the turns. Oh, and they're Oh, they're they're being smart, and it's kinda scaring me a little bit here. I can't even heal him really because he's just gonna bleed more and more with every heal. Unless I can outheal the bleed on him, it's not even worth it. That red plague was terrible to have happen. Holy crap, now we're out of uh out of bandages as well. Now that's a good heal. Oh my god. I need I need so much damage. We can make this guy miss this turn at least. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna get his, yeah. Okay, it was only a stun, and we resisted it, so. Let's try to make this guy miss this turn. He has the most damage of those bleeds. Damn, he got the double resist. Alright, so we're probably going to drive for a heal on Bobab. Never mind, I was lying. So he took his turn to side to guard. It's not the worst idea, but at least he didn't guard this one guy in the middle. Nicely done. So he misses his turn. Let's, uh, let's try for a stun again. Nice crit. <laughs> Outmaneuvered. Okay, whatever you say. Can he guard while stunned? Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah, okay. Because he, he's not actually taking an action, it's auto-doing. And they are stun-locking our frickin' healer. Ugh. Feels like the monsters got smarter, man. Maybe it's just, in this particular instance, they seem smart. Because any move they make is gonna be scary. <laughs> oh, look, their HP actually ticks down now. In accordance to when their body's gonna disappear. That's pretty interesting. Unless it did that before and I just didn't notice. Holy crap. A little, a little nervous. Okay, okay. Unwound. Whew, we're fine. Just eat up some food. Oh my god, a he can't. Victory. But a victory nonetheless. He's gonna be back on death's door. Oh my god, that is so bad. Uh, I think we have to abandon this dungeon. We could lose somebody here. He has 5 HP. Do we dare risk it? Is it worth it? Get a little bit back. It only takes one heal to bring him back to where he was, though. Hmm. 
Alright, first sign of distress, we're leaving this fight. First time they hit us with something. Alright, at least there's some people I've killed here before, so... I'm a little less worried, because I, I, I know these enemies. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, the bleeds always suck, but... Alright, now they're focusing them a little bit, and it's starting to worry me. A dizzy um. to body and brain. Okay. Can we please get a 26? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm not a religious man, but uh, I needed that. Because if he would have killed Richard, I probably would have just cried. Just tears of not manliness, pure pure depression at that point. Nice damage. All right, let us go first. Or oh, that works. Just let us get a heal. Oh Jesus. This is no place for the weak or foolhardy. You said it. <laughs> Sadly, I'm not even salty. It's kind of... Uh, it sounds weird to say, but... Do we even try it? We don't have a healer. Let's just leave. This skirmish may be lost, but the battle may yet be won. No, the battle is not won. Honestly... I'm not even salty. I knew the, ca the cove enemy, was going to be dangerous. And of yourself will invariably lead to defeat. So, get balanced. A lot of stuff to figure out. And Rich is dead. Oh, uh, that sucks. Um, I knew the cove was going to be difficult, so... Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. <sighs> Another one claimed. Well, let's uh take care of some of these problems everybody has now. That red, the red plague was really, really bad. Getting that was like, it wasn't a death sentence, but it was as close as it could have been, without actually saying it was a death sentence. Oh man! Well, there went my confidence. <laughs> Oh, the cove is going to be good, man. That doesn't uncheck mark, because we had some at 6, right? Okay, good, it doesn't. I was about to be a little salty over that. Well, that's kind of for today's episode, guys. Somebody died, so if you have a name, uh, I think we're just we're not going to replace him with another occultist, because we picked an occultist up down here. We're probably going to do another bounty hunter, maybe? Or, I don't know. Well, uh, if you guys have any suggestion of another class that you'd like to see um, in the lower levels, we'll pick him up. Um, looks like the cove is going to be a little bit harder than I imagined. Uh, we're, we're just going to pick it up again and try it, uh, in future episodes. But that's going to do it for today, guys. If you guys like the episode, hit the comment, and, uh, let me know whatever you guys need me to know. What's up with the cove? Why is it so hard? All the monsters seem to have really high protection, really high damage, and bleed resistance, so it pretty much nullifies the use of the bleed aspect on the uh, Houndmaster. Which, I mean, isn't the worst thing. You can still de deal decent DPS with the Houndmaster. It's just like, I don't know. You're getting rid of so, so much of his usefulness. I guess he could be a stun and heal bot for himself. We'll try that out next time. But, uh, yeah. If you go to the About page on my YouTube channel, you can leave me a personal comment. Just if you guys need to talk to me, need to let me know anything, I respond to all of those as well. Subscribe to my channel for more daily content, recommend it to anybody who may be interested, and I hope you guys have the most amazing day in the whole damn sadly Richardless world at this point. <laughs> See you guys.